Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is David. We're going to name this episode, Do You Pray on Travel Day? Because I think we've all seen a lot of crazy drivers out there as we're out traveling around. And this year, as Tina and I prepare for our upcoming travels this spring and summer, I thought I would take this time during Lent to reflect back on some of the things we do on our travel days. And one of those is we pray a specific prayer. And I want to share that prayer with everyone. So let me give you some history of what that prayer is, and then we'll recite the prayer. St. Christopher is one of the most popular yet mysterious Catholic figures. He is considered a saint, but he is not in the official canon of the saints. He's listed as a martyr, possibly named Repubus, who died under the Roman Emperor Decius in 251 AD. Now, most Catholics refer to him as St. Christopher anyway, and his medals and devotions are very common and very popular in the Catholic Church. Other than his listing as a martyr, there are no primary sources referring to St. Christopher, only the traditions and the legends that have been handed down over many, many thousands of years. According to legend, St. Christopher is described as being about seven and a half feet tall, and he has a very fearsome face. He was determined to serve the greatest king of all, and he began working for the king of Cana, which was his homeland. So while serving the king, he noticed that when someone would mention the name of the devil, the king would make the sign of the cross. Repubus thought that if the king was afraid of the devil, that must mean the devil was greater. So he decided to serve the devil. Well, one day he came across a pack of robbers traveling on the road, one of them claimed to be the devil himself. And Repubus watched as the devil refused to walk on the side of the road that had a cross stuck in the yard. This led him to believe that Christ was greater than the devil, which of course he is. And he went in search of Christ, wanting to serve him as the greatest king of all. So while looking for Christ, Repubus met a hermit who then baptized him and taught him about Christ. Now, Repubus' ministry as a Christian was to help people across a very dangerous river where many people had already died and making attempts to cross the river to the other side. However, due to Repubus' size, crossing the river for him was much less of a challenge. So he was able to safely see travelers uh, across the river. One day, a small child came to the bank of the river and asked Repubus to help him across. So he did, he picked up the child and began to carry him on his shoulders through the water. As he walked, the child became heavier and heavier as he was walking through the water. Repubus could barely carry this small child who weighed so very much. And upon reaching the other side, Repubus set him down and remarked to the child that he had grown quite heavy as he carried him across the river. The child then revealed himself to be the Christ child and that the weight he felt was the weight of the entire world on his shoulders. Then Christ told Repubus to fix his staff in the bank of the river and come back tomorrow to see what happens. This would be the sign to Repubus that the child was truly Christ. When he came the next day, the staff had become a palm tree and was bearing fruit. And it is because of this experience that Repubus got his name, Christopher because Christopher stands for Christ-bearer. So that was the story of St. Christopher. And Tina and I keep a little chaplet. This is the St. Christopher chaplet. And it comes with, like, it looks like a little rosary, uh, and it has the icon of St. Christopher on it. It's probably hard to see. But we keep this on the dashboard of the truck, along with a little prayer card that came with it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and recite the chaplet of St. Christopher, and I'm reading from this. Grant me, O Lord, a steady hand and a watchful eye, that no one shall be hurt as I pass by. You give life. I pray that no act of mine may take away or damage that gift of yours. Shelter those, dear Lord, who keep me company from the evils of fire and all calamity. Teach me to use my car for others' needs, nor miss through love of undue speed the beauty of the world, that I may have with joy and courtesy 
go on my way. St. Christopher, holy patron of travelers, protect me and lead me to safety to my destiny. And then the card goes on, and there's some other prayers, like I said, that are on this chaplet. But the prayer uh, concludes, Dear St. Christopher, you have inherited a beautiful name, Christopher, as a result of a wonderful legend that while carrying people across a raging stream, you also carried the child Jesus. Teach us to be true Christ bearers to those who do not know him. Protect all drivers who transport those who bear Christ within them. So I hope this video has been inspirational, maybe, and helpful. And I hope that you guys have safe travels this year. So Tina and I will be coming up with some more videos uh, in the very near future. And our travels will be getting here shortly. So I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and share this video with your friends. Also, please click the like button and ring that bell so that when I put out new videos, you'll be notified. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.